The Von Arc Reflection System is an easy to use, easily transportable cable fault location device. It allows trained users to quickly isolate faulted primary underground cable. This video will highlight some basic operation features of the Von. If you have operation questions once you're on a job site, please contact your Von representative. In the West Region, contact James Landers at 352-408-9630. In the East Region, Canada and International Inquiries, contact Jerry Landers at 352-408-9630. Seven eight nine zero. If you can't reach your representative, a number for the Vaughn Corporation and brief operational instructions are listed on the inside lid of your system. One very important note, the Vaughn Corporation recommends that operators use all of the safety measures demonstrated in this video. However, nothing supersedes the safety regulations of your company. If there is a conflict, always follow the safety rules and regulations of your company. The Von Arc Reflection System combines a user-friendly cable radar with a capacitive discharge unit in a compact, lightweight, portable package that's easily transported in virtually every truck, van, or SUV. Let's see how easy it is to use the Von system to locate a fault on an isolated cable section. But before we begin, here's two safety notes. If possible, all hookups should be performed using a hot stick and or properly rated rubber gloves, depending on your utility's requirements. We'll illustrate the hookup on a typical dead front pad mount transformer. Before you begin, remember the far end of the cable being tested must be parked and or opened, not grounded. Begin by cleaning enough of the neutral bundle so two connections can be made. The green safety case ground Vaughn provides and the approved grounding jumper device that your company uses. Cleaning the connections is the most important step of the hookup process. Notice the lineman cleans the grounds and the concentric neutral of the cable under test. Vaughn recommends using a feed-through device so the parking bushing is removed and the feed through installed. Make sure the cable that's not being tested has a bushing cap or cover to avoid inserting the high voltage lead into the wrong bushing. You can see here how close the feed through is to the transformer bushing. That's why it's critical that any open bushing be covered with an approved bushing cover as illustrated here. Using a hot stick, the elbow is inserted into the feed through and a grounding elbow is installed into the open bushing. Some utilities test from the parking bushing by removing the access port cap. Then, using an approved voltage meter or detection device, test the other side of the feed-through or test port to ensure the cable is de-energized. After you complete the testing, be sure to insert a grounding elbow in the feed-through. You're now ready to hook up the leads from the Vaughn. One quick note. Be sure the green safety case ground is uncoiled fully before beginning the hookup. Begin by attaching the green safety case ground. Then, connect the high voltage return to the concentric neutral on the cable being tested as close as possible to the cable termination point. Next, remove the grounded elbow. And finally, insert the brass elbow probe attached to the high voltage lead into the bushing. You're now ready to find the fault. The operation of the Von Arc Reflective System, regardless of your model type, is essentially the same. Brief step-by-step -step hookup and operating instructions are located on the inside lid of the Von Reflective System for easy reference, including the phone number for the Von Corporation. To begin, set the voltage indicator with the white mark up, then switch to the lowest voltage. Check the battery to make sure it's fully charged, place the machine in radar mode, and turn the unit on. The Vaughn will then automatically find and mark the open. Next, push the green start button. The unit will charge to the level you've set on the indicator. It will then discharge and the fault will automatically be marked. The distance to the fault from your test point is located in the lower left position of the screen. In this case, the fault is 394 feet from the test point. 
Now a second worker can travel the cable path the approximate distance indicated by the Vaughn trace. The unit operator then presses the stop button and switches from radar to thump and presses the start button. The unit will then begin an auto thump sequence every 11 to 14 seconds. Many features of the Vaughn Arc Reflection System can be adjusted to fit your utility's needs. You can change the range of the radar trace from 500 feet to a maximum of 48,000 feet. Some models have a maximum range of 24,000 feet. The velocity of propagation is based on a percentage of the speed of light and is set at the factory at 53.0% for extruded cable. If you're testing paper and lead cable, you can adjust the velocity from 38.0 to 48.0%. You can also manipulate the left and right markers. Simply push the key next to the one you want and then use the arrow keys to move it in the direction you desire. For example, after testing for a fault, if the fault is not automatically marked by the right marker, press the trace button and move it up to the upper trace line. Then press the right marker and using the arrow keys, move the right marker to the left, just in front of the downward spike. That will give the distance to the fault from the test point. The Vaughn also comes with three adapters for the high voltage lead. The brass elbow probe is for dead front equipment. Next is a hotline clamp, which can be used at a riser pole or switch cabinet. Both of these attachments are preferred. However, a third vice grip attachment is included if the brass elbow probe or hotline clamp cannot be used. When not in use, the Vaughn should be plugged in to keep the battery fully charged. But if the battery is discharged, the power cord can be plugged into any 120 volt source, including an inverter or generator, and the Vaughn will operate and charge simultaneously. There's also a 12 volt DC connection and cable that allows you to use a 12 volt DC source. Remember, after completing any test using the Vaughn Arc Reflection System, press the red stop button, verify the voltmeter reads zero, and the stop gap is closed. And when disconnecting the unit leads from the transformer, be sure to discharge the voltage by firmly touching the lead probe on the system neutral ring bond to drain off any capacitance remaining on the unit. Always follow the safety rules and regulations of your utility. Given its many features, durability, portability, and ease of use, it's easy to see why the Vaughn Arc Reflection System is fast becoming the preferred method for cable fault locating and loop sectionalizing. Call us. We'll be happy to give you a complete demonstration.